Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. Do you want to convert your jewelry website into an app? Through App Maker, you will be able to make your WooCommerce website into an app that will help you to reach more customers. This is my jewelry store, and I can add all these products to my newly built app. Let's get started. This is a basic jewelry WooCommerce store. I will show you how you can create an app for this site with App Maker. First, you will need to open a new tab and search for appmaker.xyz, which is the WooCommerce page of App Maker, and click on Get Started for free. On the next screen, add your app name along with your email. Click on Get Started. Here you have to choose a category and click on Continue. On the next screen, you need to copy your store URL and paste in here. AppMaker will validate your URL. On this page, you need to fill the mention slots to proceed further. In here you have to add your icon logo by clicking on Upload. After uploading, click on Next and proceed. In the next page, do the same by uploading launch screen icon. You can add your background color here. After selecting color, click on Next. On the next page, we can customize our store style. You can play around with the customized colors here. On the next page, we need to add the access key to sync with AppMaker. For that, we need to add the AppMaker plugin to the WooCommerce website dashboard. To install the plugin, log into your WordPress dashboard and then go to Plugins. And click on Add New. Use the search bar and type in AppMaker plugin. AppMaker has both WooCommerce and WordPress plugins. Ensure that you have made the right choice for your WooCommerce website. Select AppMaker, convert WooCommerce to Android and iOS native mobile apps, and now click Install. Once it's installed, just click on Activate. Now you need to connect your store to the app. By connecting the store to the app, you can automatically add all the products in your website to the app. Once you add new products to your website, they will automatically get added to the app as well. Copy the access key. Paste the access key that we copied earlier. Now your store is in sync with AppMaker. Your app is ready. This is the main page of AppMaker dashboard, which will allow you to access all the information and control options that you need to create your app. Let me walk you through the dashboard. Here you can preview both iOS and Android versions by clicking on the preview. We will be doing this at the end of this video with our fully customized app. On the left-hand side of your AppMaker dashboard, you'll be able to see different options. By default, you will have two subcategories under the Customize App button. First one is In-App Pages and the second one is the Menu. In app pages, you will be able to create multiple custom pages. You can creatively use in app pages to create categories and subcategories of products, offer pages, bestseller pages, and so on. The menu option just below in app pages allows you to organize the menu as you need. To start, this will be my homepage. You can remove or duplicate these blocks by clicking on the three dots. First, I will remove all these blocks Let's click on Remove and scroll down to find the Add Block section. Once you click on Add Block section, you can see List of Option. You can add Banners Grid and other blocks using this option. So now, let's add an image slider. By clicking on the Move arrow button, I can move block either up or down. This image slider helps us to create engaging sliders on click actions. I'm adding an offer image with a call to action and let's set the desired action for it. You have multiple action options available here. You can open in-app page URL, web view, URL, a particular product or its category or tag, and there are a few more options for you to play with. I'm choosing a product by category here. 
and let's choose the category from the second dropdown. I have made a few more additions to my home page. Now I will show you how to create a new in-app page for the store. Go to Customize App and click on Add a new page. Fill up the page title in here. We are giving the page title, Collections. First, I will add a banner from the Add Block section. Now add an image for the banner. Let's add grids for categories. We can increase the number of columns to add all subcategories, and then add the images and choose the action and subaction. Repeat the process for all grids. Below that we can add a pre-built product scroller. Click on pre-built product scroller. We are going to create one for best seller. Choose your product scroller category and choose from multiple options available. I will go with the option, best selling product. Now you have a product scroller with all the jewelry products added to your in-app page. Let me add a few more options on the page. There you go, the page is ready now. I have also added a few more in-app pages for this store. Now we will explore how we can set up the menu. We already have a pre-built menu available for the store. Let's customize it for the mobile version. I'm deleting all of it, and let me show you how to create a menu from the start. Here I create a home menu. This is an actionable title menu. Add your action, and after that here you have an option to choose a menu icon. Now choose an icon, And here is how it looks. Below that, I will add a non-actionable title and add more titles related to that. By dragging the menu blocks, you can make it as a subcategory. I have created the full menu for this brand using the same method and here is how it looks. I have created multiple categories and subcategories. Also, I have linked the category page, contact us page, and also the feedback page. Once you have customized the app you need to save the changes. The Update App section will provide you with a new app preview or a new app download with the changes you have made. This section also gives you the general settings, such as changing the app name, uploading an app icon, click on Next and proceed. On the next page, do the same add the launch screen icon and click on Next and proceed. In here, select your style. According to your needs, you have full control over using custom colors for your app. This screen allows you to set up the logo and basic images for the app, such as splash screen of the app, toolbar logo. Here you can add a push notification icon if you choose to. Here is the option to add a login page logo, and you have other options as well. After adding logos, click on Next. Here you can explore the features which we can use to make better branding. You can play around with these settings and use those according to your need. Once done, click on Save, and it drives you to the next page that will be the language setting. In here, you can decide the languages you need the app to be in. So you can add languages and you can make the translations here. If you want to add languages, you can just search for the language and then click on it and then finally click on Build App. When you click on Build App, that gets refreshed and the app builds again. It will take around five minutes to get ready till then we look into our other features in the App Maker dashboard. The first one is the push notification feature. 
The push notification is an important feature that helps in customer engagement and retention. All AppMaker plans consist of push notification features, and with a five-step configuration, you can send push notifications to your customers to generate compelling results. Next is the Promote App feature. So once your app is out there in Google Play Store and the Apple App Store, you would want your users and your customers to know that they can access your store via mobile app. With Smart Banner, whenever your users open the mobile website, a banner such as this will be shown on the top of the website where they can be urged to, to download the app. Similarly, an email footer is where you can inform your customers about the app through the order confirmation email. When a customer creates an order through the website, along with the order confirmation email, customers will get a footer like this. You can customize the features based on your needs. These are great ways to get a quick push to your app promotion. To get more information about push notification, smart banner, email footer, and any other features, you can click the Docs tab and glaze through topics you are interested. Our app is ready. Now, as I promised earlier, I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see all products are here. Now click the product and let's see what option pops up. You can see add to cart button and buy button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click add or minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. And that is how you make your jewelry store into an app through AppMaker. To know more, check out our website, www.appmaker.xyz.